Hello and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If this is your first time here, consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, I'm so excited for today's video. It's a collab with a group of my friends here on YouTube that I do every other month. And this month is called What's On My Fall List. We send each other a list of items to go pick up from the Dollar Tree to create something beautiful with. My list came from my sweet friend Nadia over at DIY with Nadia. And the card reads, don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Don't walk behind me, I may not leave. Walk beside me and just be my friend. Hugs, Jenny, I know you had a rough month. Hope this card will bring a smile to your face. Love, Nadia. This is just the sweetest card ever. I'm going to read the list that um, she sent of the items I have to pick up from the Dollar Tree. And it is fabric, a wood box, and a party supply item. Um... I just absolutely adore Nadia. This card means so much to me. And yes, Nadia, it did put a smile on my face. Nadia was one of the first people I met here, and she has been so kind to me. And this just means a lot to me. I'm also going to share with you at the end of the video a gift that came along with this card. But I'm going to head on and grab me an item out of the party supply section. And I'm going to use these tips. I think these are, yeah, these are the little tips for um, cupcakes or just making decorations. I already have um, fabric, so I'm going to pick up a wood box. I'm going to go with... Um, these wood crates because this is going to be the theme of my video today i'm creating some beautiful decor using these crates so i'm going to jump right into this first diy and i'm going to paint this crate using this rustoleum wood stain and i think you pronounce it kona um, this is a really beautiful color and i am using a brush and I'm painting on a lot of stain because I want this box to be dark. I want to give this a very nice high-end look to it. I'm still kind of shook from Nadia card. You don't understand. Nadia, she is just the kindest. And I'm just so blessed that um, we have became friends. And we actually get to see each other because we live close to one another. So... Once I finish getting this box stained, this is so beautiful and I'm going to bring in my other items that I had to use for this first challenge DIY and that's this fabric um, from the Dollar Tree. I have a couple of rolls of fabrics and I was deciding which one I was going to use, but I'm going to go with this color here. So what I'm going to do is just cut this piece of fabric in half because I do not need the whole sheet. Then I'm just going to place the fabric right in the side of the crate, pushing it down. And then I'm going to take a piece of jute cord and just attach it right on the side. I'm going to add a little hot glue to help me keep it in place. And what I'm going to do is just wrap a couple of rows around this box to secure this fabric on here. If you're visiting from any of the talented ladies channels, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now I'm going to stop here, add some hot glue because I'm going to cut down this fabric. I don't need so much of it and I want to um, make sure I don't wrap the jew cord down farther than I need it. Also, I am going to be sending my list and a little gift to the sweet, talented Leah Knapp over at DIY Beauty on a Purpose. Now, that lady is phenomenal. All of these ladies in this collab is phenomenal, so I'm excited to see what everyone creates. So, I'm just going to go around a few more times and then tack down the cord. Now, I'm just going to cut down a little pieces of fabric that's hanging so everything could look neat and tidy and this will be it for this box i wanted to create something really high-end looking that i can use year round after the fall season is over now for the decor that's going to go in the inside i am going to bring in 
this decor piece here from the Dollar Tree and my other challenge piece that I picked up out of the supply section. I'm just gonna cut that um, little loop of cord off and I'm just placing my tip right over that cord. I'm adding some hot glue to secure it. And that's gonna be my little stem for my little juke pumpkin. And now I'm gonna take some hot glue and add a numerous amount to the tip so that I can roll this jute cord around, secure it, and then I can just continue wrapping it all the way down my stem. I thought this these tips were really cute for some stems that when I'm creating pumpkins for this season. So um, thank you, Nadia, for <laughs> that challenge piece. Um, these are gonna come in handy. So now I'm just take, tacking it down, and then I'm gonna bring in some of this little fall grass. I also picked this pick up from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just gonna add a few pieces to the bottom of the stem. And then I'm going to add this into the little wood box. And I'm also gonna be adding in some other items um, from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree had these pretty little faux leather pumpkins and I'm going to add this four pack and some more of that grass. And the Dollar Tree had a two pack of these um, faux leather stems. One was a pumpkin and one was a leaf and it has blessed on it. So I'm just going to place the grass and my little juke pumpkin in there and add these little faux leather pumpkins all around it and that is it for this DIY I absolutely love how this turned out it has a nice little high-end look to it and I love the little wood box crate because I definitely can use that after the fall season for something else Now for my next DIY, this one is my husband's favorite. I'm gonna be using four of these wood crates from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna be using one of these um, little square wood planks out of this six pack from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just lining these crates up how I wanna attach them, just making sure that the opening is facing outwards. I'm gonna be using some wood glue along with some hot glue to attach all of these pieces together. And don't forget to check the description box for the, for the link to this playlist and to the host channel. This my host is Chantel from Loving Life Journey DIY. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this playlist. This group of ladies are some of the best. They are so talented and I am just so honored to be amongst them because I'm telling you, I love everything that they create and they also are some of the sweetest, kindest people I have met. So... I'm excited to see what they all created, and I hope you get so much inspiration, which I'm sure you will. So don't forget, hit that description box below afterwards. Now what I'm doing is finishing off adding my last crate. Now once I have that attached, I'm going to take that wood plank and I am going to add it to the bottom of this piece. So I'm going to choose this as the bottom just because the other side just looks a little better. And I am going to just use only hot glue to attach this piece. So what I'm creating is a little miniature wood crate fire pit. So what I'm going to do after I get this attached is flip it back over and this is how it looks. I'm gonna go in using that same color stain. I think it is so beautiful. I am going to do two coats. I don't want this as dark as that first crate, but I do want it dark, but I want to um, be able to see how dark I'm going with it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go in with one coat, let it dry, and then I'm gonna go in and apply another coat.
again if you are coming over from the other ladies channels i just want to say i'm truly grateful and thankful for the support i really do appreciate you watching this video and i hope you get some inspiration and i hope you enjoyed it so thank you now after i finish getting this stained um, what I am going to be using for the inside is I have some stones here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm just showing you how it looked after I stained it such a beautiful color absolutely love how this turned out so I'm going to just add in some rocks that I had left over and I did pick these up from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to use some of the Dollar Tree stems that I have and I am going to add those to but this little candle holder came from the Dollar Tree out of that four pack that I always use and I'm going to place that in there first and then I'm going to go around with these wood stems from the Dollar Tree so I can give it that fire pit look and I do have some smaller stems from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to grab so that I can add in these smaller spots And to add some items around the crates and the little openings, I am going to be using some of these stems. I'm going to stack them like they're logs. And I'm just adding a little tea candle. And I'm also going to be adding in the little openings some of these Dollar Tree different pumpkins. And this is how it turned out. I think this is so adorable. When I think of fall, I think of the whole cozy feel. And that's why I wanted to go with this theme. How adorable is this? Now moving on to this next wood crate DIY, this one is my favorite. I am going to be using four crates. Now I have three new ones and this one, I don't know if you can see, I used this one um, previously and I just painted it white. Um, I only kept like some little items in there, some little craft bead items. But I am going to use that and as you can see I'm arranging these crates how I want to attach them and I am going to be using some wood glue and some hot glue for that. So with this DIY, there are three ways that you can style this and I'm gonna show you after I finish completing this. This one is definitely my favorite, I love it. I love all of the DIYs in today's video because they're giving me that high-end fall vibe. I always think of coziness and Netflix and chill when I think of fall. So um, I absolutely love the theme that I went with and the color choice and so this one by far is my favorite so i'm just adding a couple of rows of the wood glue and then i'm going to add the hot glue and attach these two pieces together now i'm going to use that same color stain and stain this entire piece so I am using a brush and I'm adding a lot of stain because I'm trying to go in and give these pieces that dark, um, rich color. And so that's why I decided to use a brush and I am applying a lot of this stain. With these crates, you can create so many beautiful functional decor pieces that's why i see these in the dollar tree i pick them up because with a little paint or a stain you can really elevate these crates now this is how it look absolutely love it now this next um part is optional um you don't have to do this but i am going to take two of these wood planks and i'm going to paint them using this sage color i just wanted to bring in some color to this piece and of course i chose sage so what i'm going to use these two pieces for is the sides of my decor piece it's going to cover up those holes on the side and it's just going to bring in a little color it's also going to act as a coaster for when i style it in a certain ways and you will see that later and i'm going to be using wood glue and hot glue to attach these on each side
this is another beautiful piece that I am going to use year round after fall is over. I think this will look cute if you style some holiday items on this or use this as a functional piece in a different room. But I absolutely love this piece so much. And now I'm going to show you the three different ways to style this. So I can style it this way just as a large crate. And as you can see, I added some pumpkins and I picked these up from um, Target Dollar Spot. They were just a dollar. And then I have some little Dollar Tree fall leaves in there. And this color is beautiful and it just gave these crates a nice high-end look. Now you can flip it the other way and you can style it as like these little shelves and add something on top. Absolutely love it. So I actually got the little pumpkin candle holder from the Dollar Tree. And it could be a centerpiece because as you can see, I have some items on the other side, which is some little logs and a pumpkin and some Dollar Tree leaves. And this is the third way you can style it where the crates have the longer version. And I added a DIY pumpkin to the top that I created in a previous video. And I just added some more pumpkins and logs. And on the other side, I just added in a little candle that I made in a previous DIY and another pumpkin. But I love how everything turned out. Just absolutely beautiful and it's giving me the fall vibes. So now let's get into these sweet gifts from my sweet friend, Nadia. I love Nadia because Nadia knows me. We're going to get into first this Vera Bradley traveling mug. Okay, Nadia. Thank you. Now look at this. Look at this print. This is absolutely beautiful. It's black and white. So that let me know Nadia knows me. And I always travel with a beverage. Nadia, thank you so much. Now, come on, girl. You know I love my leopard. And you know I love my scarf. So I wear a lot of scarves on my head. I just absolutely love um, the vibe it gives. And look at this. I am going to work in style, honey, because Nadia came through. This is totally beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, girl. And we're going to talk about this cute little bag next. Now, with this bag, I am going to be storing some of my makeup items in this. But this is so cute because I can also carry this on my wrist for date night. So, girl, you know me. Thank you so much. And we're going to have to meet up for lunch because we got to talk about this. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Thank you so much, my sweet friend Nadia, for that card. It meant so much to me. I am so grateful and so blessed to have met you and now I can call you my the ladies in this group thank you all so much I am so honored and I absolutely love collabing with all of you you all are so talented you all have been so kind to me I am so grateful and I cannot wait to see what everyone created so until next time my sweet friends stay safe so that I can see you in the next video